Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today this is going to be like my 8th video of my series where I teach you guys React Chess from the beginning and on this video I'm going to be talking about one of the most important topics on React which is the use effect hook and I've talked about hooks before but only the use state hook which basically defines a state however I didn't go in much depth so I'm going to be talking more about it on this video so basically I wanted to also make a disclaimer that on these videos, I, rec I would recommend like watching the first few videos until my first project that I introduced to you guys, and then starting to work on your own and coming back to the videos to learn the new topics, but not like following everything on one day, for example, because it wouldn't make sense because you need to keep practicing in order to truly master those skills. And the use effect hug will be important when you come up with situations that are only required if you have already a bit of experience on making simple projects. Okay, so what is the use effect hook? So you guys know that we have a use state hook which defines a state, which is a variable that whenever it changes, it will re-render the page so that the page will display the variable with its new value, right? So the use effect is basically a way to determine a set of events that are going to happen every time that the page re-renders. So for example, if we change a variable, a state variable, the page will re-render in order to show the, no the new value, right? So if we have a use effect function or a hook, then we can determine stuff that can happen every time that the page re-renders. So we're gonna create here, we're gonna first of all call and import the use effect hook. So go up here and write use effect. And we're going to be using states. So for example, in this case, we're going to make a simple application where Whenever you click a button, uh, you can change, you can increase the a number, right? So you have a you have a button and you have a number in the screen, and whenever you click the button, the screen will increase the number. Okay, so let me create a state. So number and set number, and let me use state, and it's going to be a number. So let's just put zero, right? So let's display the number so here number and if we currently render this you can see that now on the screen there's a zero but we also want to add a, a button right so button and add number no, increase number increase number and uh, let's give a on click event of basically we're going to just increase number so set number equals to number plus plus one right so basically what we're doing is here is whenever we're clicking the button then we're setting the new the, the number equal to the number the current number plus one so we're increasing the number when we save this we can see that we can click here and we'll constantly increase the number and this was one of the first things that I showed you guys on the series however I'm going to use however I'm going to use it to explain how use effect works and I'm going to also increase everything here so let me give a style and you can give an inline style on on react by basically writing style uh, opening and closing two curly braces and inside of here writing a different type of css so for example instead of font size font slash size i can basically just write font size like this and instead of writing pixels i can literally do like this so just write the number and it will work as you can see and okay so now now we're going to actually use the use effect hook so we imported the use effect hook and we want to basically console log every time that the the, the, the screen, screen re-renders, re right? right? So, so this, this is basically, basically how we're going to define it. it. We can come, come here, here, like inside, inside of the components, components so inside of the component, component but above the return, the return function, function, we write, we write use, use effect, effect. We, we open and, open and close, close parentheses, parentheses, then we open, open and close parentheses, parentheses again, again and use the ES6 uh, function syntax, syntax. So, so basically an arrow, an arrow and, and open and close curly braces. And inside of here, we can do, and inside of here, we can basically set out the steps of what we want to do every time the page re-renders. So we're only going to console.log the word page rendered. Right. right, and, and we, want, we want like like 
and, and the, the use the effect, effect hook also, also takes, takes in, in uh, an, array an array over here, over so you can put a comma, put a comma and an array. And, array. and what and this array does, does is basically, basically it determines, determines when will the use effect, the use effect be, called. be called, so it can so be called can whenever, be called whenever something, changes, something changes, right? right? So, so I want to call this call whenever, whenever the, the variable, variable number, number changes. changes. And, and I write number, and, number. and, and now, now if we see the console log, nothing is logged. Actually, it Actually, logged the, the first, first time it rendered. rendered. Now, if we now click if we again, again, we'll keep, we'll keep uh, uh, console, console logging, logging the value. Val and, and, and as I click, you can see that it will keep console logging the word page rendered. And, and for now, for it doesn't, doesn't seem that useful, that right? So, right? So the thing is, this is a lot more useful when you're doing a bigger project. And also, it's a lot more useful when you're working with APIs, which is probably one of the pro the, like one of the like next, one of the next topics, topics I'm going to talk about because it's, it's definitely, one, definitely of one of the most important ones. Important ones. But, but just keep just in mind keep that mind use effect is extremely is helpful. helpful. You can also, you can also like, like like set out, set out for, for different, different stuff, stuff that can happen, can happen every time. Every time. For, for, so for so for example, so for example if, I if I just want to console log the first time it rendered, I can just erase the variable here and leave the the array to be empty. And now you can see that it sets the the console logged once once. And it, and won't, it again. won't again. So it basically so it detected, detected the first time the, first the page, time rendered, page rendered and it won't, and won't detect again. again. And you can and use that in your favor whenever you want to, for example, get information, get information and put it on your page or check or if it's the first, first time you're entering your entering website. website. So there's so a, there's a Bunch of, bunch of different functionalities you can do, you can do and, and it is a very important very topic in React. React. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be using use effect on my next videos. That's why I decided to make this video now. So if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below and keep around to see the next videos. And yeah, I see you guys later.